Hello everyone. Welcome to the discussion on the subject engineering graphics. Under engineering graphics, we are into the scales topic. Under scales topic, we'll solve a problem on diagonal scale. As you know, the diagonal scale is used to represent three consecutive units at a time. For example, meter, decimeter and centimeter, yard, feet and inches. The problem which we are discussing now is from end semester examination. The problem which we are discussing now is from first BTEC first semester regular examinations held in January February 2024 under G. Naranama Institute of Technology and Science Hyderabad. This problem is asked for 12 marks. The given problem is the area of a field is 50,000 square meter. The length and the breadth of the field on the map is 10 centimeter and 8 centimeter respectively. Construct a diagonal scale which can read up to 1 meter. Mark the length of 235 meter on the scale. What is the RF of the scale? Now we will extract the data from this problem. While extracting the data from the problem, we need to answer to these following questions. The first question is, what is the representative fraction value? Second one is, name of the scale to be constructed. Third one, maximum length which the scale can measure. Fourth one, length of the scale value in terms of centimeters is to be calculated. In the given problem, the representative fraction value is not given directly. We need to calculate the representative fraction value. How to calculate the representative fraction value for the given problem? We will see now. The area of a field is 50,000 square meter. The length and the breadth of the field on the map is 10 centimeter and 8 centimeter respectively. From this statement, we will calculate the representative fraction value. Representative fraction value is equal to length on the drawing by actual length or RF is equal to square root of area of the map by area of the field. Area of the field is 50,000 square meter and area of the map is 10 centimeter into 8 centimeter. Now substitute area of the field value that is 50,000 square meter and area on the map value that is 80 square centimeter in this equation. Then RF is equal to square root of 80 square centimeter by 50,000 square meter. We will convert both numerator as well as denominator in same units. As you know, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Then 1 square meter is equal to 10 power 4 square centimeter. After simplifying this, we will get RF is equal to 80 square root of 80 square centimeter by 50,000 into 100 into 100 square centimeter. After simplifying this, RF is equal to square root of 1 by 50,000 into 25 into 5 which is equal to square root of 1 by 62 lakhs 50,000. Then RF is equal to 1 by 2,500. That is representative fraction value is equal to 1 by 2,500. In the problem, it is mentioned that we need to construct the diagonal scale. As you know, the diagonal scale is used to represent three consecutive units. Here, the least scale to be measured is 1 meter and the measurement to be shown on the scale is 235 meter. Then the maximum length of the scale to be considered as say 300 meters or 400 meters. Then the main scale units are to be in terms of hundreds of a meter. Subscale units are to be in tens of a meter and sub subscale units are in ones of a meter. As I said earlier, 
the name of the scale to be constructed is diagonal scale. Maximum length of the scale considered here is 300 meters and least measurement to be measured is 1 meter. Here main scale units are hundreds of meters, subscale units are tens of meters and sub subscale units are ones of a meter. RF value is equal to 1 by 2500. Maximum length which the scale can measure is equal to 300 meters. From RF value as well as maximum length of the scale value, we can calculate length of the scale value in terms of centimeters. So length of the scale value is equal to RF into maximum length. RF is equal to 1 by 2500. Maximum length is equal to 300 meters. After substituting these values, then length of the scale value is equal to 1 by 2500 into 300 meters. We'll convert meters in terms of centimeters. As you know, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. After simplifying this, we'll get length of the scale value as 12 centimeters. Based on the length of the scale value, that is 12 centimeters as drawing length, we'll start the construction of diagonal scale. With the given data, we are into the construction of diagonal scale. The length of the scale value calculated as 12 centimeters. With 12 centimeters as the length of the scale, draw a line AB. AB is the drawing length which is equal to 12 centimeter, whereas its actual length is 300 meters. With 4 cm as assumed width, complete the construction of rectangle ABCD. Within the rectangle ABCD, we will construct the diagonal scale. This diagonal scale shows the information about three consecutive units. Here, main scale units are in terms of hundreds of meters, subscale units are in terms of tens of meters, sub subscale units are in terms of ones of meters. Here, the line AB represents main scale whose length measures 300 meters. So, divide main scale into three parts so that each part measures 100 meters. Divide AB into three equal parts as drawing length of the scale is equal to 12 centimeters. Dividing 12 centimeters into three parts, each part length becomes 4 centimeters. Erect perpendiculars to AB passing through these two divisions. The pencil used for drawing these lines is H pencil with a darkness of 100%. Then at the end of the first division, mark it as 0, move rightward and mark next division as 100 and last division as 200. Here A to 0, 0 to 100 and 100 to 200 are the main scale units. They are in hundreds of meters. Divide A0 into 10 equal parts so that each part value measures 10 meters. The drawing length A0 is equal to 4 centimeters. Dividing 4 centimeters into 10 equal parts so that each part value becomes 4 millimeters. The A0 represents the subscale. We will number the subscale divisions from 0 leftward direction. Here, each subscale division carries 10 meters. We are in the diagonal scale construction. For that, we will draw the diagonal lines passing through the division points on this subscale. For that, Join D point to the last but one division on this subscale.
parallel to D and last but one division on the subscale, passing through 80, 70, 60, etc. Draw parallel lines. Not to forget to draw line passing through 0. Here each division in the subscale carries 10 meters. We will divide subscale into 10 equal parts so that each part measures 1 meter. For that divide AD into 10 equal parts. We assumed AD measurement as 40 millimeters. So divide AD into 10 equal parts so that each part measures a drawing length of 4 millimeters. Number the sub subscale divisions from A to D in a ascending order. Through these subscale divisions, draw horizontals towards BC line. Here, AB is the main scale. The main scale units are in terms of hundreds of meters. A0 is the subscale. The subscale divisions are tens of meters. And AD is the sub subscale. And sub subscale divisions are in terms of ones of a meter. Then, we need to show the measurement on the scale as 235 meters. We'll take 200 meters from the main scale thirty meters from the subscale five meters from the sub sub scale from zero two hundred meters from the main scale from 0 leftward direction take 30 meters along this 30 meters line move upward and stop at 50 division name this point as P and this point as Q this PQ length becomes 235 meters PQ line to be with H pencil with a darkness of 100%. Then we will write main scale units, sub scale units, sub sub scale units and RF factor value. The main scale units are in hundreds of meters, subscale units are tens of meter and sub subscale units are ones of meter. Representative fraction value is equal to 1 by 2500. This is the required solution for the given problem. This particular problem is important and it was asked many times under university examinations. With that, I am advising you to practice this construction from beginning to the ending with perfection.